A warm welcome to all of you joining us at Silverstone today as the grid begins to form up for what we hope will be another phenomenal race. It's time for the British Grand Prix. The 3.6 miles of Silverstone circuit in Great Britain is hallowed ground to the Formula One faithful. We have 18 corners that wrap around this former World War II airbase and some good passing opportunities at the end of the DRS zones. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Perez, Carlos Sainz, and Russell, Bottas, Norris, Fernando Alonso, and Yuki Tsunoda, Mick Schumacher, Ocon, Guan Yu Zhou, and Magnussen, Gasly, Ricardo, Nicholas Latifi, and Alex Albon. Vettel and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix.
great pass. say under some intense pressure to take a well-earned victory here at the British Grand Prix. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? I think the key here was just the quality of the racecraft, you know? I mean, how many overtakes did they make overall? I'm sure we have a stat person keeping score somewhere, and it's fantastic to watch, isn't it? This is a strategic sport at the end of the day, but it's always really gratifying to see close-war battles on track. 
It's what all the fans are after. It's time to present the top drivers with their trophies for today's Grand Prix. And there are a lot of people in the paddock very happy with this result. It's Aston Martin on the top step. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Sebastian Vettel would definitely be my first choice. He showed up a lot of the drivers out on the track today and didn't show any signs of slowing down. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.